So then guys, let's dive right in. Because the question everyone's been asking lately is this. Is Apple secretly working on a brand new Mac Mini powered by the M5 chip? And more importantly, will we actually see it before the end of 2026? Today, I'm breaking down every single clue, every leak, and every hidden detail we've spotted about Apple's next-generation compact desktop. We're going to explore why Apple might skip the M5 entirely, what kind of performance jump to expect if they don't, and why this next Mac Mini could end up being the smartest small computer Apple's ever made. So, make sure to watch till the end, because we're not just talking specs here. We're talking about Apple's entire strategy shift going into 2026 and beyond. Where we stand now, the M4 Mac Mini era. All right, let's rewind a bit and talk about where we are today. At the tail end of 2024, Apple shocked everyone by introducing the first truly redesigned Mac Mini in over 13 years. And honestly, it was worth the wait. The new body is half the footprint of the previous generation. It's slimmer, cooler, and finally feels like a sibling to the Mac Studio. Apple even described it as a mini Mac Studio, and that name fits perfectly. You got the same sleek industrial feel wrapped in that iconic aluminum body, but in a footprint so small you can literally hold it in one hand. What's even better? The base price, only $599 in the US, and yet you're getting an M4 chip inside that's genuinely powerful. We're talking a 10-core CPU, a 10-core GPU, 16 gigabytes of unified memory, and 256 gigabytes of SSD storage out of the box. That's impressive for what's essentially Apple's intra-level desktop. And if you wanted to push things further, you could also configure it with the M4 Pro, giving you even more raw power for editing, rendering, or heavy creative workloads. Port selection also got a serious upgrade. You've got Thunderbolt 4 ports on the rear, USB-C ports right on the front for easy access, HDMI, and an Ethernet port. Apple finally found the balance between minimalism and practicality. It's one of those rare Apple products where reviewers, creators, and average users all agree. This is one of Apple's best value machines in years. But now the big question, what comes next? Now that we're deep into 2025, the million-dollar question is, will Apple actually release an M5 Power Mac Mini? And here's where things get interesting. Because as of now, the rumor mill is strangely quiet. There's very little solid information about the next generation of the Mac Mini, and that's unusual for Apple leaks. Typically, by this stage, we'd already have CAD renders, early chip test leaks, or at least analyst predictions. But with the Mac Mini, it's been radio silence which makes me think something strategic is happening behind the scenes. You see, if we look back at Apple's history with the Mac Mini lineup, there's a clear pattern of skipping certain chip generations. Remember? We got the M1 Mac Mini, then the M2, but there was no M3 version at all. Apple completely skipped that generation and jumped straight to the M4. And with the iMac, it's been the opposite. We had an M1 iMac, then nothing for M2, then the M3 and M4 came in close succession. So, there's a very real possibility that Apple might skip the M5 Mac Mini entirely, saving that refresh cycle for something even more powerful. It's almost a 50-50 situation right now. On one hand, an M5 Mac Mini would fit neatly into Apple's roadmap. But on the other, Apple could easily jump ahead to the M6 generation if it aligns better with their long-term chip strategy. If it happens, when could it launch? All right, let's talk timeline. If an M5 Mac Mini does exist, don't expect it anytime soon. The most credible leak trackers have all suggested that no Mac Mini update is currently on Apple's 2025 release chart. That means no spring event, no WWDC 2025 reveal, and probably no surprise fall launch either. The earliest possible window we're looking at is mid-2026 possibly tied to WWDC 2026 or even a late year release event around October or November 2026. If Apple follows their usual rhythm, that would put the M5 Mac Mini's release roughly 18 to 24 months after the M4 version, giving Apple enough time to perfect the new chip architecture and decide whether the upgrade is worth it. But if not, then yeah, we could be waiting all the way until 2027 which would make the next model the M6 Mac Mini instead. It's 
Not ideal, but it's very Apple-like. They tend to prioritize their laptops and high-end desktops first, then update the Mac Mini later once the new silicon is fully matured. So what would the M5 Mac Mini actually bring? Let's talk specs, because if Apple does decide to launch the M5 Mini, it's going to need to deliver some serious performance gains to justify the weight. Right now, the M4 gives us that 10-core CPU split between six efficiency cores and four performance cores with a matching 10-core GPU. With the M5, I wouldn't expect Apple to change the structure dramatically. It's more likely they'll refine it. So what does that mean? Probably the same 10-core CPU setup, but with improved clock speeds, higher cache bandwidth, and much smarter energy efficiency. The real upgrade, though, will be in the GPU. We've seen this before. Apple increased GPU cores from 8 in the M1 to 10 in the M2, and it's been steady since then. But this time, with the M5, there's a solid chance we'll see that jump again. Maybe a 12-core or even 14-core GPU, designed to take full advantage of Apple's latest AI and rendering optimizations. This could give the M5 Mac Mini a serious boost for creators. Whether you're editing 8K ProRes footage, color grading HDR content, or training AI models locally using Apple's new CoreML framework. AI, neural engines, and the Apple intelligence era. Speaking of AI, let's not ignore what's happening across Apple's entire ecosystem right now. Apple intelligence is becoming the backbone of everything, from the iPhone 16 Pro to the upcoming iPad Pros and MacBooks. So, it's almost guaranteed that the M5 will feature an upgraded neural engine with deeper AI acceleration baked directly into the silicon. Think faster on-device transcription, instant visual search, smarter automation inside Mac OS, and even integrated Apple intelligence that works offline for privacy. The Mac Mini could quietly become Apple's most affordable AI workstation. Perfect for developers, coders, and creative professionals who don't need the portability of a MacBook, but still want cutting-edge silicon. Performance predictions and real-world gains. So let's talk numbers because performance always tells the real story. With the M5, early supply chain reports suggest up to a 40% overall performance gain over the M4 in mixed workloads. But don't expect all of that power to show up in CPU-heavy tasks. Realistically, the CPU improvement might be closer to 15-20%, to 20%, while GPU and neural engine enhancements could drive that higher total number. Thermal performance will likely get a major improvement too. Apple's been experimenting with graphene composite heat spreaders and prototypes for its upcoming Macs, which could allow the M5 Mini to sustain higher speeds without throttling, especially under prolonged rendering or AI workloads. If that ends up true, the M5 Mac Mini won't just be faster. It'll be consistently fast, even during long editing sessions. Storage, RAM, and configurations. Now let's touch on configurations, because this is where Apple really needs to make a move. Ever since the M1, the base Mac Mini has shipped with just 256 gigabytes of storage, and let's be honest, in 2025, that's painfully outdated. Even entry-level Windows PCs now start at 512 gigabytes. So, Apple absolutely needs to bump that up. The M5 Mac Mini base model should start with 512 gigabytes at minimum, with options for 1 terabyte, 2 terabytes, and maybe even a 4 terabytes configuration for professionals. RAM will probably remain the same, 16 gigabytes unified for the base, with optional 24 gigabytes and 32 gigabytes configurations. Apple's unified memory system is efficient enough that they can hold this steady without hurting performance too much. But what would make a big difference is faster storage speeds. And with the next-gen NVMe controller rumored for the M5 architecture, that's definitely on the table. Mac OS 16 and deeper integration. By the time this machine launches, we'll likely be on Mac OS 16 or Mac OS 17, depending on Apple's release cycle. And here's the cool part. Apple's clearly designing future versions of Mac OS around Apple intelligence cross-device integration, and AI-powered workflows. So expect the M5 Mini to be a perfect fit for that environment, seamlessly connecting with your iPhone, iPad, and Vision Pro headset for a true multi-device experience.
Imagine being able to offload AI processing to your Mac Mini while using your Vision Pro headset to interact with real-time 3D scenes. That's exactly the kind of thing Apple is building toward. Pricing and market strategy. Now, let's talk about the part everyone's nervous about, pricing. If the M5 Mini does happen, don't expect Apple to keep that $599 base price. Multiple analysts believe the new model could start somewhere between $699 and $799 in the U.S. for the base M5 version. And if you're eyeing the M5 Pro Mac Mini, you might be looking at $999 to $1,299, depending on your configuration. It's still far cheaper than a Mac Studio, but Apple's clearly positioning the Mini as a prosumer device now, something between the everyday desktop and a workstation. M5 Pro Possibilities Let's not forget the M5 Pro version. If Apple continues the pattern, the Pro variant could deliver a 12-core CPU, 18-core GPU, and support for 48GB unified memory, putting it dangerously close to the base M3 Max performance we saw on the MacBook Pro lineup. That would make the M5 Pro Mac Mini an absolute powerhouse for video editing, game development, or even mid-level machine learning work. And with potential Thunderbolt 5 support, we might finally see external GPU enclosures make a comeback, giving the Mini a level of expandability we haven't seen in years. Design and ports, subtle tweaks ahead. Now, don't expect a major visual redesign. The current Mac Mini design is near perfect, compact, silent, thermally efficient, and instantly recognizable. However, Apple could refine a few details. Slightly better ventilation hidden behind the rear edge. New space gray or deep black color option to match the MacBook Pro lineup. Possibly MagSafe-style power connectivity like on the iMac. And of course, the usual suspects, dual Thunderbolt 5 ports, front-facing USB-C, HDMI 2.1, and gigabit Ethernet are likely to stay. Why Apple might delay it, the M6 factor. Here's the twist. Apple might deliberately hold the Mac Mini until the M6 generation. Why? Because the M6 chip family will mark Apple's transition to 2 nanometer fabrication, bringing massive efficiency gains and up to 60% better performance per watt. If Apple's engineers already know the M6 timeline aligns better with desktop-grade cooling and architecture, it makes more sense for them to skip the M5 Mini altogether. It's a classic Apple move. Skip one generation, then deliver a leap big enough to justify the hype. Why the Mac Mini still matters. In all of this, let's not forget why the Mac Mini remains so important to Apple's lineup. It's the gateway Mac, the most affordable way for millions of users to join the Mac OS ecosystem. It's used by developers, musicians, filmmakers, educators, and small studios around the world because of its compact power and silent operation. If Apple gives it the M5 treatment, or even holds it for M6, it'll prove they still care about offering desktop power in a compact, affordable package. Final thoughts, the future of the M5 Mac Mini. But if Apple skips straight to the M6 generation, then 2027 will be the year the Mac Mini transforms again into something truly next-gen. Either way, one thing's clear, the Mini isn't going anywhere. It's still Apple's secret weapon, the small box that can do big things. So what do you think? Would you wait for the M5, or would you hold out for an M6 Mac Mini instead? Drop your thoughts down below. I'd love to hear your predictions. And of course, don't forget to like this video, subscribe, and hit that bell icon so you don't miss the next big Apple leak breakdown right here on the channel. Until next time, stay tuned, stay curious, and I'll see you in the next one.